Let us now consider situations where we have addition or subtraction and multiplication or division within the same calculation. This is what is called mixed operations because addition and subtraction, they follow a different rule and multiplication and division also follow a different rule. The very first thing you need to know when you're dealing with calculations like this is that never run your calculations before you get to the final answer. Do not run in the middle of a calculation. Always ensure that you carry extra digits and you only run the final answer. Let us take a look at what I'm talking about. In this question, we have a mixed operation. We have a multiplication and we have a subtraction operation. So we have two different operations. How do we proceed? Well, the very first thing you want to remember is that you will still follow the PEMDAS rule that you were taught in high school. PEMDAS, parentheses, exponential, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. That is the order of operation. If you are from outside the United States, it is called board mass. Which means when we want to solve this problem, we need to first solve the problem inside the parentheses. So we should enter 782.3 minus 451.88 into our calculators. And if you do that, you should get three three zero point four two now remember we are not going to round yet but we will indicate where our last digit for the operation we just performed we will indicate where it is now this is a subtraction operation the final answer is limited by the measurement with the least decimal places. This measurement has one decimal place. This measurement has two decimal places. Which means if we normally were to round after this operation, this answer should have only one decimal place but remember we are not going to round we just want to know where the last digit for rounding is and that is the last digit and then we proceed with our calculations so we move on to multiplication we would multiply what we got by 3.897 and if you enter this into your calculator you should get 1287.64674 is this the final correct answer definitely no let us now take a look at how we round the final answer. The final answer was obtained from a multiplication operation. And the rule for multiplication is that we are limited by the measurement 
with the least number of significant figures. So for this measurement, and we will consider that a measurement at this point, we have four significant figures. Remember, we only stop at the last digit when we are rounding for the next operation. So that is why this is four significant figure. And this is also four significant figures. Since my two measurements are four significant figures, my final answer must also have four significant figures. So my final answer here should be one, two, eight, eight, because digit after the last digit is greater than five. I now need you to pause your video and try to solve all of these problems. Okay, let us continue. Let us see whether you got the correct answers. Let us start with the first question. If you subtract 232.1 from 568.99, your calculator should give you 336. Point eight nine. But remember, the mathematical operation that gave us that answer is a subtraction. The rule for subtraction is that we are limited by the measurement with the least decimal places. And this measurement has one decimal place this measurement has two decimal places so normally this should have only one decimal place but we are not going to round because we have more calculations to do so if you divide by 5.3 your calculator should give you 63.564.1504. We know that that is not the correct final answer. Let us now round appropriately. This is a four significant figure number. Remember, we only stop at the line. This is a two significant figure number. We are using significant figures because the operation we just performed is a division. So, our final answer should have only two significant figures which means our final answer should be 64. let us look at the second question in the second question again we follow the PEMDAS rule we solve what is inside the parenthesis first if you divide 455 by 407.859, your calculator should give you 0 0.00111555816. But remember, we just performed a mathematical operation and it's a division operation we're limited by significant figures 
which means we look at the significant figures of the measurements. This is a three significant figures number. This is a six significant figures number. Which means normally our answer here should have only three significant figures. We will then proceed to the next calculation, which means we add 1.00098 to what we got. And if you enter this into your calculator, you should get 1.00209 five five eight two so how do we round the final answer the operation we are performing is an addition which means we are limited by decimal places the number of decimal places in this measurement is five five decimal places and the number of decimal places in this measurement is also five decimal places which means our final answer should also have five decimal places so how do we write the final answer here we can simply write it as 1.00210 why because the number after the last digit is 5. Let us now take a look at the last question. Again, we follow PEMDAS. If you subtract 3.4 from 908.4, you should get 905 from your calculator. However, you have to be very, very, very careful here. We just performed a subtraction operation. And we know that for subtractions, we're limited by decimal places. The two measurements we are considering here are both one decimal place. And that means this answer should also be one decimal place. And that means this is where the line should be. If you do not include the point zero, your final answer will most likely come out wrong. So, we are done with the first calculation. Let us now proceed to the next calculation, which is a division. So we are going to divide 905.0 by 3.52 times 10 to the power of 4. Now, be very careful while entering the scientific notation because some people don't know how to do that. If you do not know how to do that, meet me during the office hours on WebEx. If you use your calculator to divide these two numbers, you should get 0 0.025710273. But we now need to round appropriately. We just performed a division operation. And for division operations, we're limited by significant figures. This is a four significant figure number. This is a three significant figure number. Which means our final answer should be three significant figures. So this should end up at 0 0.0257.